This is a Shape Charge anti-tank missile, a new class of ATGM. They have the capability to completely destroy the armor of tanks. And with the way things are developing, you might be witnessing the end of an era. Tanks are becoming impossible to protect, yet engineers discovered something that might keep them protected. But first, you need to understand how tanks came to be and why we need to figure out something new. Tanks, the formidable backbone of warfare for over a century, have always been the defensive linchpin in every army's arsenal. Their evolution from their early prototypes to the modern behemoths we know today is a testament to the constant quest for an impenetrable defense on the battlefield. At the dawn of the 20th century, tanks emerged as a response to the grueling trench warfare of World War I. These early models featured basic armor, intended mainly to protect the crew from small arms fire and shrapnel. However, as the world hurtled toward global conflict once more, the need for more robust defenses became apparent. During World War II, tanks underwent a transformation. Designers and engineers realized that to ensure tanks' survivability, they needed to build armored fortresses on tracks. The first tracks with sloped armor made their debut, taking advantage of the oblique angle to deflect incoming projectiles more effectively. The M4 Sherman and the Soviet T-34 are exemplary of this era, showcasing the strategic shift towards more sophisticated armor. As the Cold War loomed, so did the need for greater protection. Reactive armor, a revolutionary concept, was born during this era. This explosive composite armor layer was designed to counter incoming missiles and shape charge rounds by disrupting their penetration mechanisms. The advent of reactive armor was a turning point in tank defense, providing a significant advantage on the battlefield. But tank designers weren't content to rest on their laurels. Composite armor, another groundbreaking innovation, integrated different materials like ceramics and metals, making tanks even more formidable. This layered approach allowed tanks to absorb and dispense the immense energy from incoming projectiles, thwarting attacks that would have been devastating to earlier models. The relentless drive for tank survivability resulted in complex modular armor systems allowing commanders to customize their tanks for specific missions and threats. These developments ensured that tanks remained a potent force, capable of spearheading assaults and defending critical positions. And this would have become even more crucial in the future as anti-tank systems were developed. As tanks grew increasingly formidable, traditional ammunition faced a tough adversary. The first attempts to address this challenge led to the development of high-velocity kinetic energy rounds, designed to pierce tank armor through sheer speed. While effective against early tank models, these rounds proved insufficient against more advanced composite and reactive armors. In response, military forces explored a new path, the realm of high-explosive anti-tank heat warheads. Heat rounds utilize shaped charges, a concept previously employed in mining and demolition. By shaping the explosive filler and adding a metal liner, the charge focused its energy into a narrow jet of molten metal upon detonation. This intense jet could penetrate armor more effectively, allowing anti-tank weapons to strike at a tank's weakest points. This was the earliest application of shaped charge anti-tank missiles. The introduction of heat rounds marked the turning point in anti-tank warfare, enabling infantry and light artillery units to contend with heavily armored adversaries. These weapons found their way into various platforms, from handheld rocket launchers to vehicle-mounted missile systems. The arms race intensified as tank designers sought new ways to improve protection, leading to the development of spaced armor. This arrangement involved placing multiple layers of metal plates at varying distances from the main hull, creating air gaps between them. The concept aimed to disrupt and disperse the shape charged jets, reducing their effectiveness against the tank's primary armor. In response, engineers devised tandem warheads. These anti-tank munitions incorporated two stages. The first stage detonated the spaced armor while the second stage targeted the main armor. The use of tandem warheads underscored the intricate dance between offense and defense on the battlefield. As technology advanced, anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, emerged as the epitome of precision and power. These wire-guided or laser-guided missiles boasted incredible accuracy and range, capable of neutralizing tanks from afar with minimal exposure. 
And this is where we move into the modern era, where tanks haven't been able to keep up. The shape charge revolution began with its pivotal role in anti-tank warfare. As we've seen, these specialized explosives focus their energy to form a devastating high-velocity jet of molten metal upon detonation. This lethal jet can pierce through the toughest armor, rendering tanks vulnerable and challenging the very essence of armored warfare. Shaped charge anti-tank missiles emerged as the pinnacle of this ingenious technology. These formidable weapons combine precision guidance systems with shaped charges, allowing them to lock onto their targets and strike with deadly accuracy. Tank commanders suddenly faced a daunting adversary, one capable of penetrating their fortified defenses from a distance, leaving no room for complacency. As military forces honed the art of anti-tank warfare, the influence of shaped charges transcended beyond armored vehicles. Engineers applied their expertise to demolitions, mining, and various engineering tasks. The versatility of shaped charges demonstrated their potential for applications beyond the battlefield. Yet, shaped charges' impact on warfare was far from reaching its peak. The realm of nuclear weapons beckoned and shaped charges found their way into the annals of history as a crucial component in nuclear bomb designs. In nuclear weapons, shaped charges act as the triggering mechanism for the primary stage of a thermonuclear explosion. By placing a deuterium or tritium fuel inside a cavity and surrounding it with a shaped charge, immense compression occurs upon detonation. The shock wave compresses and heats the fuel, initiating the fusion reaction, the same process that powers the sun. This dual nature of shaped charges, from anti-tank munitions to nuclear triggers, embodies the paradox of scientific achievement. The same ingenuity that seeks to protect also fuels destruction. The realization that the technology developed for defense could be repurposed for more devastating purposes underscores the complex interplay of power and responsibility in modern warfare. Explosive Reactive Armor ERA, emerged as a breakthrough in tank defense. This innovative technology consists of explosive tiles mounted on the tank's exterior. When the tank comes under attack, sensors detect the incoming threat, triggering the ERA to detonate the explosive tiles. The blast disrupts and disperses the energy from high-velocity projectiles, significantly reducing their penetration capabilities. ERA provides an additional layer of protection, complementing the tank's primary armor and effectively countering shaped charge warheads and missiles. This reactive approach to defense proved highly effective, bolstering the confidence of tank crews as they rolled into the crucible of battle. As anti-tank guided missiles grew more sophisticated, defense mechanisms needed to evolve in kind. Enter Active Protection Systems, or APS, a technological marvel that puts tanks one step ahead of incoming threats. APS employs a combination of radar, sensors, and countermeasures to detect and neutralize incoming missiles. When a threat is identified, the system deploys soft kill measures such as smoke screens, infrared decoys, and laser dazzlers to confuse and divert the missile. Hard kill measures such as directed energy weapons and projectile interceptors offer a last line of defense by physically destroying the incoming threat before it reaches its target. The integration of APS has redefined the dynamics of armored warfare, providing an unprecedented level of survivability for tanks in modern battlescapes. These systems epitomize the fusion of human ingenuity and technological prowess as they tirelessly guard against even the most relentless onslaughts. However, as defense mechanisms grow more sophisticated, so do the weapons designed to overcome them. The armor enigma endures, prompting an unending arms race between offense and defense. Tanks must continually evolve, striking a delicate balance between adaptability and stability to remain at the forefront of armored warfare. Heading into the modern era, the future for tanks looks shaky. The armor enigma persists and the fate of tanks hangs in the balance as cutting-edge technologies cast shadows on their once-dominant reign. One of the most prominent contenders vying to replace traditional tanks on the battlefield is the advent of unmanned ground vehicles, or UGVs. These autonomous or remotely controlled vehicles eliminate the need for human crews, mitigating risks and enhancing tactical flexibility. 
UGVs can be designed with a focus on survivability, leveraging advanced materials and agility to outmaneuver threats that once posed insurmountable challenges to traditional tanks. There's actually an interesting debate going on in regards to such unmanned vehicles, because their controls would be very much akin to that of video games. This could lead to a strange circumstance where teenagers would be the ones most equipped to head out into war, despite that sounding ridiculous. Even so, it's very likely that country leaders would ban this, in accordance with a hundred different labor laws. But it's at least interesting to think about. Hypersonic missiles capable of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5 have also emerged as formidable game-changers. These blistering-fast missiles present an elusive target for traditional tank defenses, rendering them increasingly vulnerable to devastating strikes from afar. The rapid advancement of hypersonic technology challenges the very essence of armored warfare, demanding a paradigm shift in military strategy and the tools at our disposal. There are some missiles that are so quick that they bypass all currently known tank detection systems, but at the same time don't do as much damage as other utilities on this list. Often these missiles are lighter and pack less of a punch. Directed energy weapons further add to the air of uncertainty surrounding tanks. These futuristic systems harness concentrated beams of energy, ranging from lasers to microwaves, with the potential to disable or destroy targets without using traditional munitions. The ability to engage multiple targets rapidly and with minimal collateral damage raises questions about the survivability of conventional armored vehicles in this evolving theater of war. We truly have no idea if armor will be developed that can withstand the might of AGTMs. All we know is that some of the world's smartest minds are working on it, and warfare has always been the best moneymaker throughout history. Thanks so much for watching, and bye for now.